Okay, let me uh, maybe do a combination uh, teaching and little news update. You know, I just came in from sort of like from San Antonio, and I know this road very well. Okay, I've made videos here. They got the ramp closed off, meaning you kind of park down by the Lexington on the other side of the boat, the ship. Then, of course, you got no parking. And there's normally one spot you can park by the art museum, like six. But they're all handicapped except for one. And as I drove around trying to, I'm going to try and get out of the wind a little bit. I thought if I was a tourist coming in from out of town, I would leave. There's a zero park that I had to park in a spot called Limousine Parking. And all of these you can't park. And, and if you want to get tourism, and this is a beautiful spot. I've gone to concerts right here, the American Bank Center. You have to deal with the parking problem. All right. The, um, I'm in between studies because I'm not sure when I'm going to make my next New Jersey, New York City trip. And it's so hot here. And up in New Jersey, it was like 50-something yesterday. But so I'm not positive. And we finished Colossians, so we'll see. Uh, what we teach next. I got the Sunday teachings I'm going to keep doing. The big news would be uh, the other day I mentioned, and this, this plays into the understanding of why we refer, the public refers to fake media. And this is a very good example of it. Our country, as most of you know, has been embroiled in a Russia investigation and all types of things. And if I can go real short, because it would be hard, sometimes uh, the media just does not tell the truth. And they hope that uh, the public won't ever really get it. But I mentioned the other day that one of the breaking stories, it was a female reporter, I believe it was in the uh, Washington, uh, uh, you know, a very reputable newspaper, Wall Street Journal or Washington Post, one of them. Her name, I think, I forget her name. But she was, did a report. And it was true. And it said and showed that the FBI had planted an undercover agent or a mole in the Trump campaign. Okay. Now, that's a little questionable. But what we have now found out is this. The mole, meaning the FBI agent, in the campaign fed information to a man that was in the Trump campaign, a young man in his 20s, and his name was uh, George Papadopoulos. And the mole, meaning the FBI, Comey's man, what information were they given this man that worked for Trump. They were feeding him information that said, don't you know that we, the Trump campaign, he's pretending he's part of the campaign, the mole, the FBI undercover. We have a bunch, the Russians have a bunch of emails from Hillary Clinton. Now, he's feeding this information to somebody that's an innocent, you know, it, it's a, it was entrapment and it was a setup. Now, as they fed that information to this man, George Papadopoulos, they made sure he heard it multiple times, and then there was a strange offer that was made to him that he could go, I believe it was to London, and in London, they were going to pay him, fly him to Europe. I flew to, flew to Switzerland years ago. And like for three thousand dollars, they were going to let him go, and he was going to do some like, you know, why they wanted him to do this particular uh, report for them and all, but it was a setup. And then when he was in London, the FBI mole and all, they were acting like they were part of the campaign. And then the, then it w wound up that at one night he was at a bar with the Austro Australian ambassador. And they're still reminding this uh, Trump guy, Papadopoulos, the FBI undercover is like, don't, hey, don't forget, 
Russia has Hillary Clinton emails. Russia has Hillary Clinton emails. Now, this guy's a young guy, and he's sort of like feeling honored that he's got this inside information. And then they take him to a bar, knowing he's going to possibly get drunk, which he does. And after they keep slipping this information to him, the FBI, finally he blurts out to the Australian ambassador, don't you know that the Russians have Hillary Clinton emails? Boom, he took the bait. The Australian ambassador, was, which was unwitting that this was a setup, then reported that. Now, the FBI and the deep state knew this, but they didn't tell you this. They never wanted you to know this. And then they used that information as the second plank for the Russia collusion investigation. They used what was called the dossier, which was the Hillary Clinton bought and paid for, if you will, uh, opposition research. And then they used this. These are the two things. And all of the media reported, we're not just investigating Mr. Trump because of the court Russian dossier, but we also have this information from this man, George Papadopoulos, that the insiders of the Trump campaign knew that Russia had Hillary Clinton's emails. And that was fed to this man, which was called entrapment, classic entrapment. And then the FBI, look at that beautiful boat going that way, used that as the second plank for the investigation. That's a scandal. And that this reach is so much greater than Watergate. Now, why is the media fake news? The, all the media had reported this, because I'm a news watcher, what I just told you. But they reported it to you as fake in this sense. They didn't even know that that was a plant, that that was entrapment. Now, this would be a breaking, breaking major story. And the mainstream media and the Kohler Times and all the others, they probably will not tell you what I just told you because it's to their benefit for you to believe the false narrative. That's why we say fake news. Look, that's the, I was, if I were to teach, being it's a beautiful spot, and I like, that's the same uh, generator we had at the fire department as our emergency backup generator. As you can see, it's very windy. That's the Lexington, there's a couple of boats going over there. I wanted you to see the nice view. Uh, I'll, I'll might call this, update and then teaching real quick. I read a couple, I'm just reading not to prepare for any study, but normally, you know, the Spirit of God will coordinate and confirm His Word. I was just reading a few chapters of Corinthians the last few days, and the, I guess the last one was chapter 4 last night, but Paul says, everything you have, Christian, minister, pastor, whoever you are, it's a gift, meaning God gives you wisdom. Jesus in the parables at the same time says, stewards, in the parable I read in Luke the other night, stewards feed the meat or the food. They're faithful and they do it consistently. And Paul actually says we are ministers. We are stewards of the mysteries of God. I like that. And then I went and read uh, Jeremiah 1, it's the beginning of the prophet Jeremiah. And there's two or three times it says, and the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah. And the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah. And the word, of, and it's coming to him. Everything you have is a gift. But there's a sign there that says leadership. And Jeremiah is told in Jeremiah 1, great chapter. It says, I'm going to send you. You're going to be a tower and a fortress against all the leadership. At that time, that he, there was judgment coming to the people of God. And he says, I sit this, you, this day is a tower and a fortress among my people that you might know and try their way. And he says, and they're going to come against you, but they're not going to prevail. And that's part of the call. Now, I could do a whole teaching on that, but this is just an update. Though. But that short first 12 minutes, if you will, how long did I go? Or short first four minutes? That's a top story. That is a top story and that the FBI used and planted that information to that young campaign man. And I saw some of these people, not sure if it was Papadopoulos, 
But then when Mueller brought the hammer down, knowing that they were entrapping these, this guy, one of them, I remember, was on TV crying. He was drunk. He fell, and, and they, they go after the same people that they plant that information. That is scandalous that they did that. I don't care what, I'm not a, I'm not a Republican. You know who I supported? John McCain. I, even when McCain was low in the big field of people that were campaigning and all. But I liked him. And I still do. But what I, what I critique when I see this stuff, that the Mueller thing and the FBI, it's got to the point where it's scandalous. It's scandalous. And every media outlet said that that was another major reason for the justification that this man Papadopoulos, while he was drunk in London, blurted out. And do you know uh, Comey and all the others used that and said, that's our other information. And all of them knew that they themselves planted that information. Their mole in the Trump campaign, that's scandalous. So hopefully you enjoyed the little view. I know some of it you can't hear because of the wind. But I want you to see, I did a lot of, I did a lot of my teachings right in this area. I'll try and get close. Thing is a problem.